Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fall slash Halloween shop with me video. Um, depending on like how that goes, maybe I'll also decorate in this video. Not quite sure yet, but I'm sitting in my car and I'm just getting ready to go. So if you saw in my last video, I went ahead and went through like the fall and Halloween decor that I already had. That way I could kind of like make a mental note of what I might still want to look for. So with that being said, on my list specifically is I'd love to get some like little pumpkins for that little um, basket that I showed you guys. I want to get those and I think those are going to be at Hobby Lobby. I want to get, I want to just look at Halloween decor in general. I don't feel like I have a ton besides all of those like random jack-o-lanterns. I don't know like what I would get specifically, but maybe just some small stuff to like incorporate throughout the house. And Hobby Lobby doesn't sell that. So I think I'm gonna look at Home Goods for that. Possibly Target. I don't feel like Target sells a lot of Halloween stuff. I remember looking and it kind of felt cheapy. Like I didn't love what they had. So I'll also check there because the other area I want to do is a uh, is like on our big counter in the kitchen, like our island. And what I'm thinking about doing is getting like a clear or a vase of some sort with like some fall, um, florals yeah some like fall florals possibly a candle so i'm gonna be going to bath and body works to get a couple like leaves i saw that they're on sale today which is perfect um i kind of want to elevate that area and make that look a little bit nicer so not like anything super like in your face fall like pumpkin type stuff but like just the essence of fall that'll probably come from target i'll look at home goods and hobby lobby as well and then um the kitchen table so i want to do like a setting place setting um so i have like a center thing and then a little pumpkin that i put that i really like the way that looks so i'm thinking either getting like um, placemats chargers napkins something along those lines i've seen them at hobby lobby for pretty inexpensive so i'll probably check there um i feel like there was something else i wanted um i might just get like an inexpensive mug if they have that i know um i've seen them for like five dollars so probably will pick one of those up if i can find one that i like i think some pajamas would be kind of fun um i don't think there's anything else really that stands out to me that i want to get um i went ahead and ordered some halloween prints to put in picture frames so when I get home, I'll pull it up on my laptop because I tried to do it on my phone and it was kind of hard and like pick the size and all of that and order those so I can get that later. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to like one area that has all of these stores like within a little um, range, time range, not time range, uh, distance range, like they're really close together. So I think I'm going to go to Home Goods first, which will be on this side, this side. And then I'm going to do Target and there's a TJ Maxx there. So I might run in there. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, the, oh, the other thing I wanted to get, sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm a little bit distracted because the neighbor's dogs are going crazy, but um, I want to go to Michael's also not really for any decor i've looked there before and i feel like it's not the best i might just skim through it but i want to get look at their scrapbooking stuff and then i also want to look at that at hobby lobby as well so i'm gonna do home goods and then i'm gonna do target and michael's because they're in the same shopping center and then there's also a tj maxx there that i might go to and then i'm gonna cross the street and do hobby lobby i think that's it i know there's a walmart over there so i might go there we'll see how i'm feeling that's kind of going to be the last like stop because i think this is going to be a lot of stores and it's like a 30 minute drive each way so we'll see but my plan is probably to overbuy. that way i can play with it at home figure out what i want to keep and get options like especially for the um place settings like i don't i want to be able to bring it home and see it in the space so i will likely overbuy and then be returning stuff and i did set a budget for myself so we're going to take all that into consideration, but let's go ahead and get to driving. Okay, guys, I just made it to the first little strip center that we'll be going to today. And in here, there's the home goods. It's like a home goods Marshalls combination. It looks packed, so we'll see like how much I can actually film in here. But 
there's also i think it's two stores down is bath and body Works, so i'll be able to get that knocked out as well and hopefully i can get this done before it gets like too too hot during the day because i don't want the candles to melt but with that being said let's go into home goods and see what we can find got back in the car i went ahead and went into home goods and um bath and body works i got two candles from bath and body works they did not have spiced apple toddy which i'm very upset about but they had leaves and they had pumpkin apple so i grabbed one of each and then home goods was honestly kind of a bust it was pretty i don't know this home goods is big but and it was like filled and it was hard to like walk around the aisles but it was filled with junk if you know what i mean um like they had some Halloween stuff, but not really like, I don't, I don't know. It was just kind of junky. Didn't really speak to me. I got a couple of things. Like I got a vase and some like napkins for the table and um, some like floral stuff. I don't know if I'll keep it. I just got it that way I have it and then I can return it if I don't want it. But I was a little bit disappointed with how that turned out, honestly. And sorry if you can hear the air. I've got it on the lowest setting, but it's hot already tried to get an early start so i was here at like 9 50 but it's already hot it's 10 9 now so now we're gonna go to the next shopping center which has got the michaels target and then there's tj maxx and after this being a bust i definitely think i'm gonna go into the tj maxx so anyways let's go there now <laughs> Hey guys okay so it's definitely later i think the last time i checked in was i out of bath and body works maybe i think so um so i drove over to this next shopping center which is huge by the way i haven't been here in years but i mean they have a standalone sephora which i've never seen in like a strip center like this but i went into target it was a complete and utter bust it is so freaking hot i'm gonna turn the air on one sorry guys um but it was such a freaking bust they, I don't know if like I came too late, too early. This is just a sucky target. I don't know, but I, there was, oh my gosh, it was so picked over. I got like a couple of cute little mini pumpkins from the dollar section and then like two candles, like small candles, but I mean, it sucked. And then I couldn't film in there because there was a woman with her two kids that were old enough to know better that were just screaming not like crying screaming because i understand that like if your baby's crying but just like yelling just yelling and i swear everywhere i went they followed me now maybe they were just talking loudly and she wasn't paying any attention to them she was on her phone so they were just probably trying to get her attention which is honestly kind of sad but whatever so i don't know if i'm gonna try like a different target or what because i was honestly so disappointed but I don't know if there's another target even close by i would have to definitely go out of my way but i know i think it's the hearth and hand brand has these really big they're like huge candles and i thought that that would look really nice on our um like kitchen counter but they didn't have those anywhere i just was super blah their halloween stuff was kind of shitty um 
And I don't know, maybe? Because I also then went to TJ Maxx and they didn't really have anything either. So I don't know if I'm just late to the game or if um, Halloween decorations are more on the like cheap side. I don't know. But that being said, I went into TJ Maxx and had some success. So I got two different little floral arrangements with vases. One is a white vase and one's a black vase. So I got both so I can see which one I think looks better and kind of play around. And then I got some mugs and I got a cute little turkey. So that was definitely a success. Anyways, as I was saying, there was a creepy man just watching me. So I moved the spots, but TJ Maxx was a success, a success. So I think the last thing on my like actual list of things I want to get is stuff for the table. So I got some napkins earlier at Home Goods. I, they're options. So we'll see what Hobby Lobby has. And then I'll probably end up getting extra stuff at Hobby Lobby because I can't help myself. Um, but yeah, that's like the last stop. I just pulled up to Michael's and I'm in here for something totally different. So I'm not going to film in here. Hopefully I have, they have what I need. And then we'll be heading to Hobby Lobby where I will probably spend a lot of money because it's Hobby Lobby. So I need to try and watch myself. However, they have no Halloween decorations. I think cause it's like anti-sacrilegious or whatever. So that's like, we just didn't get any Halloween stuff. So we're just going to have to make do with what we got this year and roll with it i do want to get those prints and see like how those turned out get those ordered so i'll do that when we get home and then i'll do a haul for everything like once we get home as well but anyways let's go to michael's <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so I am back from all of my errands and as you can see, I have all of my bags of things here. So I figured I would just do like a quick haul of everything I got while I unpack it. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna keep yet, but I got extras on purpose. So I know this is a lot, I will not be keeping it all, but I thought it'd be fun to just do a haul anyways. So with that being said, first things first, I went to Bath and Body Works. I got two candles. The first one being pumpkin apple staple. And then the other one being my favorite, a classic leaves. Um, they didn't have spiced apple toddy and apparently that's discontinued. And if that's true, I'm going to be very upset. But those are the two I got. That's all I got from Bath and Body Works. And then We'll do Marshalls and Home Goods because I went there first. So that's what's in here. And like I said, they didn't have like a big, big collection. I kind of struggled with what they have, to be completely honest. So first things first, I got these little towels, which I think are pretty cute. It's a set of eight napkins. I did get some... Um, also, if you see my kitten, I apologize. I'm not gonna mess with it right now, but I got some place settings, which I'll show you guys when I'm done. So I will likely return these, but I did get that. And then I also got this little Eric Carl book. It's the very hungry, hungry caterpillar eats snacks. And it's like an opposite book. Um, if you don't know, if I, I don't think I've said it yet actually, but my sister is pregnant with her first kid and it is a boy and then my sister-in-law and my brother are expecting twins so they're also all due within like a week or two so i'm trying to like stock up on like stuff like this now while i see it for like the baby shower so i got this for that i'm gonna keep the receipt because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna return those and then i got a vase and I got a couple different options of bases for in here. So once I get to decorating, we'll play around and see which option I want to keep. But I got this like really pretty pinkish one. And then I got this, which now that I think about it, it's kind of flashy. And then I would obviously cut these and bend them to like fit this a little bit better. And now that I'm looking at this, I really don't like it, but we'll see. So that's what I got from Marshalls. And then from there, I went to, oh, 
Target and they did not have a big selection, but I got three of these little pumpkins from the dollar section. So these two are like little, the boucle. So this is like an orange and this is a sage green. And then this is like a velvety green. And then I got this small little candle in the scent acorn trails and it smells really, really good. I love the way this smells. And then I got another one. Which was in... They didn't have paper, so I wrapped it up in a bag. But this one is green. And this is... I don't remember what scent this is. And it doesn't say I lost the tag, but this one smells really good as well. And then from there, we went to TJ Maxx, and I was very successful there. So I got two different like, plants. So this is the first one. So it's this black with this red. And then I got it the same thing in white. So I'm going to play around with these and see which one I think looks better, and then probably return the other one. I'm pretty excited about those. I like the way that And then I also found, oh yeah, I forgot I got this cutie little turkey guy. He's so cute. I like the way he looks. And then I got two mugs, one for Halloween and one for fall. So this is the cute little fall one I got. So it's just orange with these little pumpkins on it. Super, super cute. And then... This one, which just says boo and has some ghosts on it for Halloween. That's fun. Okay, and then I went to Michael's, but that stuff was not fall, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. But I went to Hobby Lobby and I got more of these cute little like wickery pumpkins. I love these. And then I got the this. And then I got this one because my other one turned out to be pretty smushed to go in that little floral thing I showed you guys. And then I got this, hopefully it fits well, but I got this little set to go in that um, little basket I was showing you guys. Hopefully that's enough stuff. If not, I can go there. Pumpkins were pretty inexpensive. I probably should have just grabbed a couple, but I did not. Um, but then I also got the stuff to set the table. So I got four chargers and these are what they look like. So they're orange. And then, you grab the other bag, hold on. Okay. And then to go on the chargers, I got these white um, plates. I don't know if you can see them really well. I'll do a close up in a minute, but they have this really pretty outline of like leaves. So those are gonna sit on here like this. And then I got these little napkins to go on it like that. And then these little wooden napkin rings. Okay, here's a quick like up close of the plates i think they look really nice and really honestly pretty expensive like i would definitely get those from like pottery barn or something but they're really cute i like the way this is gonna look so that's everything i got plus like i said a couple of little um scrapbooking things and that is it that is all the fall stuff i got i got a ton of stuff but i'm very excited with the haul and then like i was saying if you look like i don't think now that I've got these, I don't think these are really going to, yeah, these don't go because they're more reddish. You can tell it all, but anyways, that is everything I got. I hope you enjoyed this video and my next one will likely be either like another vlog or like a decorate video. I'm not quite sure yet. The other thing I still need to do is um, get the prints made, but I will show you guys that when I get them printed and I like do my little decorating video. So. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.